Do you want to know how to be in a better mood every day? Stay tuned to find out! Hello, beautiful, wonderful, most intelligent sage called my wife. <laughs> oh, hello, great being yourself. <laughs> you know, today we're going to talk about how, if anybody's interested, they can actually give themselves the opportunity to be in a really good mood on a daily basis. All right. right? So how do we do that? Well. According to the teachings, there are seven days of the week, which we know that's a fact, right? Yes. And there is a quality of God associated with every day of the week. When it's that day of the week, the Ascended Masters actually blast, I'll use the word blast, frequencies that correlate with that quality of God on anyone that happens to be in tune with that um, quality. Now, how do you get in tune with the quality? By the color. The quality actually is represented by a specific color. So we're going to go into those colors now with your help and explain to individuals what the colors are for each day, what the qualities are that are associated with each day, and if they do this, if they follow this, we'd like them to follow it and test it. They can see whether or not they actually get into a better mood. We'll also talk about colors to avoid and why. Okay, that Ready sounds great to me. Yes, I am. Okay, so our first day is of the week is Sunday. Yes, it is Sunday. Right. So go ahead. And the two qualities of God that are uh, most close to us on Sundays are wisdom and prosperity. God's wisdom. Oh, God's wisdom and, and God's, God's prosperity. prosperity. Okay, we have to make that clear. W let me add before we continue that each picture here, you see an angel on each slide. These angels were actually drawn, these pictures were drawn by our youngest daughter, Yes. Cece. She created them. She created these characters and um, for one for each day of the week uh, and the qualities of God. So we decided that we would use... We didn't ask her to do this, by the way. Did you? I had asked her for a picture of an angel and this is what I've got. Okay. So my wife asked her for, for the picture of an angel and she came up with the whole series. So we just want you to know that um, our budding artist, we're, we're giving her credit for the work she's done. And that's easy. So now, Sunday, we have God's wisdom and God's prosperity. And the color is? Yellow or gold. Or gold, right? Mm -hmm. And the gold represents prosperity. Wisdom is the yellow or gold. One of the things, for example, with students, we always tell them that if they want to retain what they're studying, if they want to um, benefit more from the time they put into their studying and their schoolwork, they could actually have wisdom decrees. The decrees focus just on wisdom, on, on pulling in or creating a frequency of wisdom in that environment they happen to be. And by doing that, they'll notice how they can retain more. Uh, we, we've done that with our kids and other individuals as yes. well. So our next day is Monday, and that is Pink Day. The qualities for this day are God's love and God's mercy. Uh huh. That's all you're going to say? No. Well, yes, you give the deeper explanation. So uh, with God's love, what, what, we're, what we're saying here is this, that you should emanate God's love and God's mercy. So bottom line, you should be nice. <laughs> extra nice on Monday. No, <laughs> you should be extra nice every day, right? But Monday, what it does is that when you wear that color pink, it reminds you 
of that God quality within you of God's love and God's mercy. So wearing this pink on Monday, you get that extra benefit of the extra boost in frequency that comes down uh, uh, with that quality of God of love and mercy on Monday. Got it. Our next day, Tuesday, Blue Day. And this is when God's will and God's power are more present. Right. And so here, uh, you focus on making sure that whatever actions there are that you're taking, that they are representative of you accomplishing God's will, knowing that you have the power of God supporting you. Again, it's not only on Tuesday that this happens, it's every day. However, it's more prevalent on Tuesday. And then when you wear the blue colors on Tuesday, you can feel and benefit even more from the frequency of God's will and God's power. And next is Wednesday, Green Day. And this one is all about healing, God's healing powers. And that's why it's green, because normally the healing ray is a emerald green ray, right? Mother Mary normally takes care of that with Archangel Gabriel. But um, you wear the green, of course. Archangel Raphael? Archangel Raphael, sorry. That's right. Thank you, hon. You're welcome. Not Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel doesn't do healing. It's Archangel Raphael. Thank you. You're welcome. So um, on Wednesdays, the main focus is healing, healing of the earth, healing of individuals. So wearing the green, you get that extra benefit of healing. And again, of course, you will be in a better mode or mood, and you'll understand why as we get towards the end. Thursday, Purple Gold Day for service and ministry. So service as in we take care of our brothers and sisters or we serve in one way or the other. And again, these are things we do on a daily basis, but focusing on a Thursday or having that extra focus on Thursday provides us with that extra frequency that is generated by the Ascended Masters for this particular day. And the goal is a ministry where we go out and hopefully talk to individuals, right? Mentor, mm -hmm. you know, encourage individuals because that's what we should be doing, not humiliating people, right. putting people down. We should always be empowering individuals. So we serve and then we empower. We don't expect people to do things for us. We go and we do things for them. Friday is white day for God's purity. All right, and of course, that I guess that's self-explanatory, right? Right. You want to be pure, pure in mind, pure in action, pure in every way. So Friday is when that focus is. Now, this is the one that I've always had a hard time with because I don't like wearing, I can't see myself wearing white pants as a guy. <laughs> I just don't see it. I don't know. Have you ever seen me wear white pants since you've known You've me? never worn white pants. Exactly. I won't wear white pants. Oh, that's right. You've never worn white pants. No. So that doesn't work for me there. So what do I do? I wear the white top, white socks, you know, um, but not white pants. I've worn a white skirt, but definitely not. I, I used to stick to wearing white tops and white socks myself. So the thing is that it doesn't have to be the whole outfit, right? If you want to, great. I, I've known individuals that wore all white because, of course, they want to get as much benefit as possible. So that's fantastic that they do that. Saturday, purple day, or violet, some people say. And this is for the qualities of God for cleansing and freedom. Mm -hmm. Cleansing, that's the violet flame. We've talked about that in the past. And uh, freedom is what we get. You know, we want to free ourselves of the physical body so that we can ascend back to heaven, be with our divine father, and then become an ascended master. So that's, what, that's where that freedom comes in. Also, freedom from all the negativity that surrounds us, whatever that might be. So on Saturday, if you decree, I used to decree all day long on a Saturday, just violet flame decrees, there are a whole bunch of them. We give, we give out one, but there are many violet flame decrees. And I, on Saturdays, I just decree for the most part because I knew that I was getting that extra boost. You know, it's magnified. Maybe by a thousand fold. I just made that up, that number. But it's, it's uh, magnified on that day. And so you're cleansing yourself, cleansing your physical body, 
removing as much karma as possible. And Saturday, you get that extra help with it. All right. Red. With too much red, it will actually draw negative emotions towards you, like anger, rage, or there, you might notice maybe an abuse of power in some way. All right. So this is not a color you should be wearing. This is one of the colors that we suggest that you stay away from, or if you do wear it, make it very minimal. That way you don't get too much of it because too much red, as my wife mentioned, will definitely notice individuals that are angry a lot, that are power hungry. They always want to be in control. You'll notice that they normally love some shade of red or they're always wearing red of some kind. They have a red car or uh, just, just pay attention to that after watching this video and it will start to make sense to you. So there's a lot of anger, there's a lot of screaming, frustration, um, they always want to be in control, and that's because they have too much red on them. Okay, That's why you'll notice politicians, they used to wear red ties because it's a sense of power. They want to show that power. Black. Black absorbs all frequencies and energies. So if you're wearing black, you're going to be ending up pulling a lot of non-beneficial emotions and feelings toward you. Well, I wouldn't say non-beneficial. You'll be pulling whatever is in the environment towards you. So if it's positive, then you're fine. Oh. See, so just because it's black doesn't mean that it's something bad. Okay. What it does is it absorbs all the frequencies and energies that are in the environment that you happen to be in. So if you're wearing black and, and you're around individuals and they're all happy and everything else, what will happen to you? You'll become happy because the frequency is all happiness. Okay. Make sense? That makes sense. No. I don't think I've it, ever experienced that. If it happens, well, because it rarely happens. <laughs> <laughs> but if you happen, if it, it if it turns out that in that same environment, they're happy people, but they're also sad people, uh -huh. then you'll feel both. You'll feel happiness and sadness. And that's where it gets confusing with individuals because one moment they're feeling great next moment they don't feel so good and that's because of the clothing that you're wearing it's black so it's absorbing the energy from the environment that you're in yes okay so if 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 you've been say in a crowd and then you leave the place and you're wondering why do i feel like i want to cry or why do i feel so depressed why do you think that would happen based on what I just explained? Well, if you were in a crowd, you were probably picking up those emotions from individuals that were around. Since no, you were... You're not picking up the emotions. The material that you're wearing okay. absorbed the frequency, the energies. It's in the material. And then from the material, it goes to you. But it's not you picking it up. Got it. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why when these folks talk about their empaths, they don't really understand the spiritual realm. Okay. Right? Because I feel that, yes, you can pick up on energies without wearing dark clothing. But the reason why that's happening to you and you can't control it is because your chakras are out of balance or something else is out of balance. Nobody's an empath. If you feel you're an empath, there's something wrong with you that needs to get fixed. But that's just my opinion. Okay. Maybe because I'm not an empath and then I feel jealous. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right? But the... The thing about the black is that it's not necessarily a bad thing if you happen to be around everything positive. But that's very rare, isn't it? it these days it is. Because based on statistics, 90% of people are not positive. They're always complaining. Yes. So the chances of you being in a positive environment is 10%. Well, <laughs> I used to wear a lot of black. And, and you're, you and our good friend Mr. O challenged me to stop wearing black and to start incorporating color into my wardrobe. And as I did that, I noticed a difference. I was not feeling so down and depressed and I actually had lighter moods when I would wear color. So I stopped wearing black completely. I never wore red anyway. So I avoid red no matter what. <laughs> Don't like that color, but that's my story. So the point behind this video is that we challenge you to experiment. If you happen to wear black or brown, you know, dark colors most of the time, or red, 
we'd like to challenge you to wear lighter colors as you see in this video. Just try it for a week and see what happens. And then let us know, give us some feedback. We look forward to that. Remember to subscribe and like this video. Join the Facebook group 190 Vision to connect with others on the same journey. Get help by visiting our website 190vision.com. Support the 190 Vision mission by clicking on the donate button which is at the bottom of each page of our website.